Good morning. Welcome to the second episode of my Italy Chronicles, where I take you along our remaining days in Rome. Our third day in Rome began with my mom and I making ourselves some matcha. This is kind of our morning ritual. Good morning. Today, are we going, so we're going shopping in a different area? Yeah. What's it called again? And tomorrow we'll be near the, near Spanish, the Spanish Steps. Steps. I feel like we've gone to the Spanish Steps every day since we've been here, but we're shopping in a little area with local shops. More mainstream shops too. I don't even know, honestly, but right now we're off to go get coffee, little lunch type beat, so that's what I'm wearing. I thrifted this, and then this is really old brandy. Vida V thrifted. And I'm wearing this lemon, so. I have been looking forward to shop in little Italian shops, so... We got some sandwiches, coffee, tea, you know the drill. Stuck in the rain in this dress a couple weeks ago, anyway. Day was very spontaneous. We wandered around a lot and ended up in this shopping area where we did a little bit of damage. But honestly, only my dad ended up getting things, which is surprising given he hates shopping the most. <laughs> Bored of shopping, we stopped for gelato and iced lemonade to refresh ourselves on this very hot day. <laughs> Before going back to the Trevi Fountain for a small while to people watch. I love people watching. We later stopped in one of those stores that sell cute gadgets and snacks and got some candy to satiate our collective sweet tooth. They were these fire little bubblegum candies, super sour, super tasty. <laughs> We then walked home to change before heading to Aromatikus for dinner. This restaurant was actually suggested by one of you and it truly did not disappoint. They have great veggie, vegan options and great quality ingredients, fresh produce and amazing service. The ambiance was to die for as well. They had an outdoor terrace at the back with hanging flower vines, cool round mirrors and plants all around. We started off dinner with some Campari Spritz, which would later become my dad's drink of choice wherever we went. <laughs> some mojitos and some matcha. Nadia versus la matcha, two types of people in this world. <laughs> We ordered probably the best falafel and hummus I've had in my entire life. I kid you not, we all finished it in about a minute. It was exquisite. Holy shit. For our main courses, we all got veggie burgers, except for Mila, who got a feta salad type bowl. <laughs> you look really different in real. Yeah, right. Mom. 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 We got stuck in a flash rainstorm afterwards and had to seek refuge in some random restaurant. I personally love getting stuck in the rain. I love the spontaneity of it and just the feeling of rain on my skin makes me feel so free. The next morning, we got up bright and early to go to the Maxi Museum, which is a museum of contemporary art and architecture in the Flaminio neighborhood. We got coffee, tea, breakfast sandwiches at the museum cafe before going in. The architecture of the museum was an exhibit in and of itself. 
Well, here we've got Italian art at the turn of the millennium. Architecture one up here. Yeah, it's here. And then bigger than myself. We viewed the exhibit entitled Bigger Than Myself, I believe, which features photographs of all types with different themes written on tape surrounding them. It was kind of like a collage type exhibition, which was really cool. This portion was about different Italian historical, socio-economical, and cultural elements. Its purpose, if I remember well, was to showcase all the historical baggage and culture Italy has to offer aside from its pizza and pasta. Honestly, this is a really rough description because I saw this literally two months ago, so my memory is a bit foggy but it was a super cool exhibition that at least i remember they also had this room where you entered and were surrounded by projections which i personally am obsessed with the exhibit was called rewind the future and it was an unedited selection of videos tracing the history of the maxi museum since its opening 10 years ago They also had this yellow room, which my dad and I were really drawn to for some reason. We spent like 10 minutes there just wandering around. So here you see my dad sticking a sticker on Mila's back without her knowledge and feeling really smart about it. The sticker says, pardon my Italian, orgoglios di essere anarchic, which means proud to be anarchic, which fits with Mila's very strong desire to remain uncontrolled by anyone but herself. So yeah, it's kind of funny. We later explored the other more permanent <laughs> exhibitions in the museum. There were these deforming mirrors at one point, which we had a lot of fun with, or I should say, which my dad had a lot of fun with. The child is ever present in this man. We grabbed some posters for the road. Funny story, we actually dragged these around the entire trip. So basically for a month, through ferries and cars and a plane even, only to let them sit in our basement back at home. So classic of us. These were my fave paintings. I love the geometric style and all the colors so, so much. <laughs> Afterwards, we walked about 45 minutes to Boobies. Yes, that is the name of the restaurant. Name in music? <laughs> Got some wine, some beer as always. Avocado tuna tartare. A charcuterie board. Definitely not my cup of tea, but it is kind of pretty. And then Mila got a feta salad and I got some tomato rigatoni. Then we walked towards the fancier streets with all the bougie shops and we stopped at this cute papeterie where I bought a small bullet journal and where my mom got some gifts for her friends back home. I love papeteries so much. Being surrounded by empty journals gets me excited about the prospect of filling them up with thoughts and lists and desires and stories. Then we walked some more, we stopped at MAC, where Mila got a lip liner, and then we went to Brandy. So the Brandy in Rome is another one of those places I went with my friends in high school, so it weirdly has that nostalgic kind of aura, if that makes sense, and so going back brought up some memories. I wanted to get a little something to remember this day by, and this was our last stop, so I got a cute summer dress and top, and they will forever remind me of Rome, so that's really cool. We went back to the Spanish steps for the billionth time, but this time we walked up them to go to Borghese Park. My dad insisted on sitting on the steps even just for a microsecond because you're not really allowed to anymore, and well, if you're not allowed to, then my dad feels the need to do it even more. And therefore he did. He's a true rebel. The view at the top was really stunning. Rome is just so beautiful with its orange themed landscape and bubbling streets. We then made our way even higher to Borghese Park where we wandered around for a while.
our wander sesh was cut short by our collective need to pee, so we left because the bathrooms were too far into the park. <laughs> Back home, we got ready to go out to eat. We ended back at Aromatskus. It was just so exquisite the night before. The inside ambiance was really nice as well with the dim lighting and bookshelves and wine selects. We started off with our respective drinks, Campari for mom, beer for dad, mojito for Mila, and matcha for me. We got tagliatelle. Tempeh Caesar salads that were beyond yummy. I don't usually really like tempeh, but this was fire. And tempura battered fish for dad. For dessert, Mila got this vegan cheesecake. And what to do? And I got a vegan chocolate type tart thing with caramelized hazelnuts. It was so fire. Oh my god. It was so good. Delicious food. To mon dad. But I guess you're curious. Fromage, champignons, c'est une salade bon, papa. <laughs> because we are never satisfied and because my dad is my dad, we went out for pizza later in the night. Mila and I ended up eating most of it during our drive the next morning and my dad was really pissed about that, but anyways. Promenade. Mila and I ended the night off walking around Trastevere one last time. The next morning we would leave for Vieste. Can't wait to show you that because that's really stunning as well. Love you! Wasting time with you, baby.